cricket season, a season which has seen plenty of highs and lows. One player who knows that better than most is Greg Matthews. The New South Wales all-rounder started the season with tremendous figures, but after the Perth incident in December, he's failed to regain his spot with the, the team. Tim Wharton caught up with Greg and discovered that despite all that's happened to him, he's refused to give up. It's the second most important thing in my life. Um, I enjoy playing it immensely. Um, and I, you know, I, I struggled to think what I'd be doing if I wasn't playing cricket, as in, as my chosen sport. The simple words of Greg Matthews belie the passion he has for the game of cricket. It's more than a sport to Greg, it's his life. Cut! And that's hurled a long way in the air by Greg Matthews. Oh! One of the things I love about the game of cricket is that you can actually see what a person's like by watching them play the game of cricket. Um, you can see what they're like off the field, the type of human being they are, because cricket's unique in the world. There's no other sport that's played for the length of time. There's no other sport where you're totally committed on your teammate for success, to take that catch for you, to bat with you. There's no other sport where you have as much time to think about yourself and think about things out there because, you, you know, in between balls, that's 50% of the game, inverted commas. And so you learn a lot about yourself. A captain's not only going to know what his players can do on the cricket field, they've got to know what's happening inside their head. Once again, overpitched, and Matthews making no mistake with those full tosses. Eight years ago, Greg's mind was full of test cricket. The all-rounder starring with the bat and ball as a regular member of the Australian team. Full toss and nicely guided away there by Greg Matthews. So runs coming thick and fast for the Australian team. He was inspirational. Matthews' defiant spirit and character, a refreshing change as the Australians struggled on the field. Greg constantly boosting He's his teammates, refusing to bow to the opposition. And is he happy? It's a beautiful six to bring up his hundred. Well, isn't he enjoying it? I think we're lucky staying on the ground. I always try and give 100%. But having said that, it's... the When you play a test match, your intensity level is much greater than it is, say, playing for my grade club, Waverley. But that doesn't mean that, you know, when I'm in the field and a, a batsman hits a ball just to my left, I, I don't think, oh, gee, I've got a sore arm, I, I'm not going to go for that one. So I, f I feel as I'm still there giving 100%, but I'm like, wow, a test match, you, it's just the ultimate in, as far as cricket is concerned. Uh, and, you know, you just, you get it, you're more up for that. I think that's a natural thing. Great shot. Well, he's hit A6 and uh, 10 fours and I don't think that he's hit a better. From those heady heights, Greg Matthews has gradually fallen from favour. The emergence of spin wizard Shane Warne displacing him from the national side. The last few months have been particularly hard on Greg. His patience and perseverance more than tested as he fights to regain a spot with his beloved Blues, New South Wales. Since Matthews was injured in Perth three months ago, the all-rounder has failed to recover his spot in the Blues lineup. He admits it's been tough, but rather than just sit on the sidelines wallowing in self-pity, he's continued to play cricket at grade level, as usual, putting in 100%. I've missed four or five games for New South Wales um, this year that I've been available for. Um, and while it's been difficult, um, yeah, I can't simplify. Life goes on. I've made other commitments. I've got got to do other things in life uh, and so will I be shattered or whatever by missing the next Shield game and, and the finals um, I'll be very disappointed they're games that I'll never have the opportunity to play in again and I'm like the Shield finals at home I'm like that's a guaranteed win for New South Wales um, so yeah you know I miss that but you know I've got to get on with my life Having played for New South Wales since 1982, you'd think there might be some resentment seeing others take his spot in the team. But Greg is happy to see them succeed. Matthews, a true blue, blue. I'm very proud of my achievements for New South Wales. I got out of the blocks better than I ever have in my career this year. And I was looking forward to doing some 
some serious damage to opposition sides. But And it's made me think, well, gee, if Gavin can do it, maybe I can do it and maybe a bit better. So I would have had a, you know, a, a great year as well. But he's done it for marks to the guy. He's bowled very well. He's playing in a successful side. And, and at the end of the day, I'm a New South Welshman. Um, and, and I'm just as pleased as the guys in the team that they're doing well because after all I, I participated quite heavily in certainly my last Shield match um, that I played and so I feel as though I've contributed to the success of New South Wales this year. There's no argument that Greg Matthews is a fierce competitor but his unique style on the field has often drawn criticism from those that prefer the more sombre side of the game. But Greg makes no apologies. His antics just part of his live wire personality. First and foremost with cricket with me, I enjoy it. I'm like, I enjoy it more at test level in that it's more intense, it's more of a buzz, it's harder cricket, the rewards are greater, the falls are greater. Um, but enjoyment is the, the prime factor. I'm like, I can't believe anyone would be ignorant enough or stupid enough to think that uh, I would allow my dancing, singing, whatever I found to come down between balls on the cricket field and cool out, uh, I can't believe people would be ignorant enough to think that I would cost myself one test run, one test catch or one test wicket um, in order to dance or jive or whatever. Do you ever regret, say, saying something or, or doing something that you, you've done in the past? Do you ever sort of think, you know, should I have done that? Sure. I'm still asking myself questions and I'm still finding out about myself. Uh, I don't know anyone that's perfect on this earth and if you're out there, man, hey, throw the first rock. I'll put my hand up. For the moment, Greg will continue to wait his opportunity to make his comeback to Shield cricket. After that, who knows? There are even thoughts of regaining a test spot. I think about it all the time. I've got a baggy green cap at home on my coat and my hat rack and occasionally I whip it on, have a look in the mirror and I say, that's where it's at, Greg, that's what we're looking for. You know? And that's my ultimate goal, I mean, that's, that's where it's at for me. I want to play for Australia again and having been successful playing for Australia, I believe I can do it again, I know I can do it again. Um, and cricket's a very funny game, uh, you know, change like that, week, a day even sometimes, you know, I'm like, I, and I believe if I go out and score 500s in a row for New South Wales and or I'm not even playing for New South Wales and I've got to get back there first. I must be playing first class cricket before you can play for Australia. But I believe if I score 500s in a row and take five tempers, it's going to be damn hard for the Aussie selectors not to pick me. That's the thing about Greg Matthews. No matter what his critics say, they can't accuse him of being negative. The all-rounder, a competitor to the end. Yeah, as Jeff, Jeff Lawson said about uh, Greg in a recent uh, newspaper article, he uh, dances to a different drum, one of the great competitors in Australian cricket. A break, the Inter-Dominion after this, Neil Donnelly and John Kennedy join us.